Welcome back to the adventures of your boy, me T Ye, the big halberd winky face of Jin. Yesterday we kind of found our way in with slavery and torture and cruelty. We won't we won't talk about it too much. This time we will be able to hopefully develop the round quite high. So we found sort of a way in via bringing people to court, imprisoning them, taking their stuff, as per usual. And we've got ourselves a Valerian Steel Dagger. The plus 15 personal combat goes quite nicely with everything else we've got going on right now. Not doing a huge amount, I will admit, but it is nice to have some Valerian Steel kicking around. The gold that we got yesterday, though, really has springboarded us into some serious acceleration for this campaign. We've got a huge slave camp. Not only to give us a ridiculous amount of troops, which we do need to build up the morale of before they're actually any use, which is what we're working on right now. But we've got ourselves, more importantly, that minus 50% build time, build cost modifier this is what's going to allow us to take control of yeetie and we also kind of came up with a new play style as well so we've never done a north korea mode in any campaign before so for those of you who don't know north korea mode is basically where you have zero vassals besides besides mayors and, and temple holders so no counts no dukes no kings if you're an emperor you hold every single title it does work. It is a legitimate playstyle, but it's very difficult to pull off. It's like playing the ultimate tour playthrough. You get very little tax. You have a massive amount of, of army reduction. However, you can sort of scum it up a little bit. Like building up all the holdings to have obviously a massive amount of tax. You hold all those holdings directly, so you're not taking any vassal cuts there. You're in full control of the army. You've never got to worry about rebellions or anything like that. It works very, very well with religions that can raid. Now, the Yeet, because that's how you make your money, obviously, with a massive amount of troops. The Yeet religion is not yet reformed. So when we get around to that, we might want to flip it on its head so that we are... We might even be capable of raiding now, actually. I have no idea. I, I never did bother checking. Um, no, we're not. Okay, so the owner's not allowed to. You. Just, for, just for reference there. In the future, we could always reform that, and that's generally the way you will make a lot of your cash with those. It's sort of Weirdly enough, halfway between Nomad and your traditional sort of Imperial playthrough. But we've never done it before, and it is a very sort of uh, traditional CK2 playstyle that would be very cool to play through, I think, in this time. Particularly for, like, a vengeful guy who wants to retake all of the realm. I think that works pretty well, huh? So today, we try and take back some of our bloody land. Yesterday, we lost uh, part of this province here, Fujin, to the Empress. Because she inherited the ram, didn't actually have a title of her own. So we got randomly chosen in the lottery to have a title given to her. Uh, which I wasn't particularly pleased about. This guy as well. We also can't siege his provinces yet. So now that we have all those slaves, now that we have an army of 15,000, we are absolutely capable of sieging his capital and revoking it all. Now, the cool thing about the North Korea mode is it only upsets your direct vassals. So we can do it while playing as a leech as well. We can assimilate basically all the way through ET and they pretty, pretty much can't stop us. So we'll give this a go. We'll see how it plays. Game's still running pretty decently as well. So it normally takes a little bit more time to set it up, which is the only reason I'm concerned about that. Um, are we still friends with Countess Kuju, Kujo Mo? Uh, absolutely I am. Of, co of course. You are my friend and that will never change. A kind, brave, zealous woman is the perfect friend for a cruel, authoritative, wrathful man. Incredible stuff. Weird Butcher has been built. Right, right. Okay, the Weird Butcher actually gives lower army morale, doesn't it? So that was probably a bad call. Yeah, another minus 10%. Ugh. So light infantry is at minus 60% morale right now. We only are going to use them for sieging, obviously. That's the whole reason we've got it there. It's going to help out with revoking titles, things like that. We need to only focus from now on items that give us morale of armies. So fighting arena is good. Brewery is, is very good as well. Oh, God, is that it for the time being? Oh, shit, that could be a problem. Training grounds, we need guard stations too. Okay, bear that in mind for the future. If we've got anything else that can give morale of armies, otherwise this could be... These troops are going to be utterly shit. I mean, obviously, Light Infantry is not great anyway. Uh, Barber Surgeon, we can upgrade that. Okay, only once. Oh, shit. What about the Fighting Pits? Can we upgrade those anymore? Once. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I mean, we will go for the Fighting Arena because it gives morale of armies and reinforcement rate. When we have no levies, I think levy reinforcement rate is probably the top thing you want to go for right now. It's not going to take as much time, and it's not particularly expensive. Do they have a, do they have a flat value? We got minus 50%, oh, minus 50% reduction. Of course, it's 200 gold, so that would have cost 300. Makes a lot of sense, really. Thank you. Okay, uh, fighting arena, am I right? D Driggy tells me she's pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Why ever not? Has she not already given us a daughter who's strong? That's fine. I think we betrothed, oh, yeah, okay. That was the other thing we set up as well. We married her off to Garth the Boar with these three bloodlines. This one is crazy good. Hunter's tall and strong. Obviously fantastic. This guy's got it, so maybe that's a chance for me inheriting in the future. This guy's got incredibly good stats. This kid's already strong. My god, I'm looking forward to being able to play as Ki Ti of Jin. She's going to be insanely good. I hope we don't have a son. 
Is that what I call it? Agnatic, cognatic. Yeah, we would have to go, have to go uh, cognatic. Rem for 10 years, have to be at peace, no count, or high to vassalize a negative opinion. Well, obviously, if we go North Korea mode, we don't have to worry about that either, because we won't have any counts. Um, besides that, though, that's actually all we need, just to be at peace and to have rain for a few more years. Fine. Let's see if we survive that long. My sister in darkness to hero is passing by and decided to pay me a visit. Absolutely. We're probably not going to stick with this. Oh. Oh, meaty. Oh, you got to bear in mind, it's a, it is a Chinese-inspired name, because, of course, again, this, this area is all basically China, isn't it? See, you would read that, me to ye. Uh, me to ye, beca the big halberd became lossful. I can't believe it. Call him Meaty, the the big lossful halberd from now on. Now, it's favor favorite exactly like me, and again, the society's not really going to do a lot for us. It's just a base game. It doesn't really help us at all. The base game Lucifer society is, is so, so nerfed now that it's not even worth playing in. I mean, it does kind of suit our guy, but I think so would, like, the Alchemist Guild. Literally lets us build wildfire to consume the realm. All of the Mad Kings have basically had something to do with, with alchemy and wildfire, haven't they? I mean, just look at Season 8 and 7 and 6 and 5 of Game of Thrones. Uh, Nalatek favors, blah, blah, blah. What do you want me to do? Just count Tan Zhao fall into... Can we not join the Alchemist Guild instead? It would be a lot better. No. Mystic, Scholar, Metallurgist, Fire Obsessed, Lunatic, or Erudite. The only way we could do that would be taking the Scholarship Focus... Doesn't suit the character at all, does it? This is clearly a martial-oriented guy. I don't think he would go out of his way specifically to go for scholarship. But now that we have the slave trade, I'm thinking we get into the business, folks. We're already a slave trader. We have massive slave camps. Business focus suits him because he's also greedy and already in the business of buying and selling slaves. This is just the step up from that. We're going to roll with that for the time being because we've got... I mean, I don't want to get a son at this point. It's, it's a very, very risky play. Of course, if she dies, then we are back to basically square one. But I really do want to play as a character, and I don't think we're going to be able to change succession, succession laws anytime soon. Um, if you have a son, I swear to God, you are going to disappear. Ah, he who laughs last, laughs the longest last. Finally, that little dwarf Poden has left this fine earth. Incredible. Um, I do think Poden's girl would look fine on my mantelpiece. We tried to abduct this woman. She wasn't having any of it, and now we're going to go to a grave and rob her skull. Bear in mind, we were only trying to abduct her because she was a dwarf as well. This is incredible. Where is the morality? Skull of Poden. There we go. Look, goes nice with my Valyrian steel dagger. I guess that's how we, uh, guess that's how we lopped her head off. Should we rename that? Rename, uh, what are we going to call that? Um, I'm going to call it the Bloodstone Dagger because that just fits. Bloodstone Dagger. That dagger could draw blood from a stone. Very good. Very, very nice. Oh, that was another thing. I asked yesterday if you guys had any ideas for the house words. The top result last time I checked, and I assume we fill it in here. I don't know, one or the other. Um, ad adjective? You are missing ha adjective for house words? I don't think that's quite right. Um, what should be the house words of house T-E? The top one I saw was stars and stones, I think it was. a stone and stars. Stone and stars sounds better. I think that was also it. Stone and stars for, of course, the bloodstone, and then the stars for the cult, the star of wisdom, which the bloodstone emperor founded. Of course, our glorious great, 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 great grandfather. Welcome. Let's go for that one then. Perfect. And then uh, during random events, you know, when you imprison people or, or you, you kind of go a bit ruffled, you'll shout that randomly at people as we've seen in some of the previous Game of Thrones playthroughs. It's, it's a really great mechanic. It's quite a clever idea. Oh, you fucker. Construction of the building in Balmy is not going well. Numerous accidents. For God's sake, Lynnet, you moron. What does that say? Kai oh, he's it's one of the Kai Kaiyana Yians. Yeah, the guys up in the mountains who cut their dickers off if they're not very good. Although he is good. I guess that doesn't count as a, a not choppy dicker off trait. Um, my god, that's twice the council have fucked us recently. Do you get the feeling they might be doing it on purpose? Guy with the minus 90 opinion of us might have just fucked up the, uh, fucked up the building. What is that? Nine point... Oh, it's only for, it's for 5% chance yearly. That's not very high. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how opinion affects some of these other traits. Uh, Minister of Ceremonies, welcome aboard. Why do they all hate us so much? Can I ask? Legion of the Tyrant, minus 70. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 we should definitely turn on to stop plots. Pat that in right now. We've got righteous imprisonment. I don't care who they are. Imprison them. This guy might go into rebellion. He's got 10,000 troops, so we've only got 4,000. Um, oh, an elephant has gone crazy. Let's try and capture it. Nothing. Now we've just killed even more peasants, even higher revolt risk. Fantastic. Great work. We need to reinforce these troops as soon as possible. I don't really want to risk. Okay, you should be training troops. right? Did I actually accidentally set them to... Oh, no, I did that on purpose to get the higher a restaurant. So, obviously, it worked out incredibly well. Let's get it back on training troops. 125% reinforcement rate. When that's as high as it possibly can be, I'm happy to start imprisoning people and whatnot. Um, this guy's been a bit of a dick. He's, he's the one trying to plot to kill us, huh? They're not going to be able to do it. 
Uh, 40, 43% with everybody else on board just because everyone's shit. I see me. He's got, yeah, garbage intrigue as well. What about the other guy? He's trying to fabricate a claim on our land. Oh, God. 34%. Now, we could, alternatively... Oh my god, we could we could counter we could counter plot against him. We could just alternatively put our guy for the arrest chance in his cattle and try and arrest him. I d Whoa! He's got himself a Valyrian steel a, a fl sorry, a flaming sword there. You can only equip it if you're fire assessed, lunatic, red priest, or somehow chosen by Relore. Very cool. Wow, that's really I want to become a lunatic now. That would be imagine that. Bloodstone Emperor swinging around his flaming sword. Far. My god, I've never been happier to see a daughter born in CK2. Oh, she's quick as well. Nice work. Um, we're going to go for P, for, as in PTE of, of our glorious health. Uh, or it could be Pi. It depends how you want to interpret it. Well, but someone said yesterday left a comment saying, Mr. Streamer, there's so much overt racism in these series. This is not me. There have been so, so many names that are just basic syllables in this. These are all names in the base Game of Thrones one. You can't blame me for this. Also, I'm, I don't know many Chinese names off the top of my head. I'm going to be frank. Also, I butcher them. This keeps it very simple, and, they're, and they are appropriate thematically. They're not incorrect. So, you know what? You can, you can fuck off. One of your th this, though, this, though, is morally reprehensible. This you can absolutely go at me for. Uh, tell the slave. I don't need her. Get rid of her. Send it, get, get, Just get rid of her for five gold. That's the price we put on a human life in this round now. Ah, oh, nice work. There we go. Garth the boar, you legend. Okay. 50% levy reinforcement rate on top of the 125% he's already given us on top of whatever else we've built there. Prosperity increases slightly. I guess we're not being sabotaged then by our our council. Um, local revolt risk, and we got local revolt risk. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, God. It's not terrible. It could be a lot worse compared to some other provinces here. Okay, I think we'll be all right for the timing. Besides, what's the peasant revolt going to be anyway? We're up to 3,000. Ooh, wow, that is reinforcing quite quickly. That guy's gone into hiding. Not that it'll matter, because we'll just go to war over because whenever we feel like it anyway, regardless whether or not he's in hiding. Plots against us have ended. I think we're safe for a while. We can send for a sorrowful man. That's cool. So the sorrowful men are basically just assassins, as it says there, from Karth. Um, I imagine they're actually a title if we go over to Karth itself. Uh, sorrowful men, sorrowful men. Port 13, Jade Palace, Spy Support, Tourmaline Harbor. No idea. It's here somewhere anyway. Who are they under attack from? Because they are being... They're having the shit kicked out of them. A shy... A Shire also, they're at war with Yeet. Yeetish, oh, we declared war on them, right? We're winning the war against them because they've attacked Karth. Wow, we've got a big old Jade Sea sort of mass war going on here. Very cool. And we've got this weird High, high Warlock Durham, the Stormlander from Westeros. God knows what's happened over there. Another thing to bear in mind is we do have the Artifact Acquisition mod, so we could very quickly dig up some potentially rare artifacts from around the world. You know, try and find some magic candles, try and find the black candles, whatever the hell they're called. Um... What are they? Is that what they're called? Obsidian candles? Something like that. I don't, know, I don't remember in hindsight. But more to the point, we've got plenty of books as well. We could be uh, snatching up here just for a little bit of... How many is it you can have equipped again? Yeah, two out of four. So you might as well try and find some that give a minor amount of stat buffs. Um, Dario's ladies. What, how, what happened to Dario Naharis then? Dead as dicks? There he is. Uh, oh, he just died of old age? Bedridden and infirm. Wow, how long have we been playing for? 42 years already. Man, it, it just seems so much shorter because this is the first good character we've had. Um... Yeah, he's got a Valyrian steel right there as well. Obviously, that would be an upgrade from our dagger. Right now, we've obviously got our dagger, but it's nowhere near as good as the sword. It's just kind of Babby's first Valyrian steel weapon. Um, don't give Valyrian steel to Babby's. It doesn't really make much sense. Skagossi opinion plus three. Not very useful. Man, I'll, I'll see if I can... Oh, here we go. Um, glass candle. That's it, glass candle. Not black candle or obsidian candle. I think they are made of obsidian or something like that. Um... A glass candle made of obsidian. There you go, apparently so. We could try and steal that. We need to be a mystic, though. Or a red piece, warlock, or shadowbinder. None of which we can have. We need 12 learning. Power of magic has faded because there are no dragons. I don't know how the hell we're going to bring that back. So only Valyrians can hatch and tame dragons in this particular setup. Just so that we can't do it again because I'm sick of bloody dragons. Alright, what's our liege got? Just some armor and a sword. It's not worth being imprisoned and going at, committing grand treason against the emperor over a chainmail armor. That's a real shame. Let me see what else I can find. Holy shit, the Warlocks of Karth have a lot of stuff. Okay, we'll mark this guy's special interest. Why have we, we actually can't steal artifacts right now? I've no clue why. We've got the mod installed, so God knows why. But they've got all the Shade of Evening gives Learning Plus 2 as long as you're a Mystic, which would be fantastic to use. They've got Dragon Binder, which allows you to just basically tame a dragon whenever the hell you want. They've got Glass Candles, they've got Ships, they've got... 
Uh, so you get these whenever you restore a ruin. It's just like old scrolls from it, old religious texts, which just give a little bit of piety. But the Shade of Evening, that's why this guy is 39 learning. Because all of these, they don't take up an active slot. You don't have to equip them. You can have as many as you want. That would be a really fun Karth playthrough, trying to go for like 100. But I've never actually played in Karth. That actually could be kind of a cool thing to try and do. Become like the ultimate warlock, huh? I wonder if they've got some unique mechanics. Anyway. Okay. That sort of put a damper on that, because apparently we can't steal things regardless, so I'll have to double check that in the uh, in the load order at some stage. In the meantime, just keep building up the round. Just keep waiting for our few troops to reinforce here and there. Make sure we've got all the council set up. Oh, you need to be my friend, Trade Master. Give me some profit. That guy's going to hopefully, and then we can just demand money from him whenever the hell we want. Ah, the Pair of Anguish. If you don't know what that is, go and Google it, because they are, it's, it's something. Wearing nondescript common clothes, Tahira and I are slowly making our way to an amicable silence as we pass by a neatly kept garden of a cozy looking house. I'm suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion. This family is clearly favored by the gods, unlike us, given that our whole dynasty is dead. Tahira, it's time to do the line of the night's work. I don't know why, because the line of the night devoured the first bloodstone emperor who founded this cult. So, doesn't make any sense. Uh, excuse me, um, um, your lore is a little... <coughs> it's me being... That's me doing an impression in the comment section on any Elder King series I ever do. Tahira. Time to do the line of the night's work. This can be good. Can be mad. Ooh. No, it's good. Oh my god. No, it is. It is good. This is almost certainly going to cause a peasant revolt, though. So let's raise our troops preemptively. Or 6,000. Oh, that's actually very, very nice. Holy shit. Okay. 200 dark power. We get ambitious. We get torturer. We lose stressed. We get the blessings of Balbrith, which is definitely the best one. National text modifier plus 20%. When we have so much to build and so much potential from our land, this is fantastic. My god, what a massive, massive, awesome game for the character there. And Arbitrary, who gives a shit? Right, we are almost certainly going to get a Peasant Revolt, so I'm going to leave these troops just raised for a while. What's our Revolt risk now? Uh, let's take a quick look at the map mode. Still not bad, though. Council's minus 2%, Peasants are upset, Slave Economy, Revolt risk. Yeah, I think we actually might be fine. I thought that was a guaranteed Revolt, I don't know why. Oh! There we go. We're now the High Priest. Um, that took almost no effort at all. I guess there's a very... <laughs> this is why there's no point being part of this society. So, the Cult of the Starry Wisdom, as you, pr as you probably know from uh, just trying to attempt to abduct people, maybe, just in-game. The influence determines how successful your, your actions can be. So, your chance to abduct people is directly tied to the influence of the society. More influential, higher chance you've got succeeding. But, of course, more likely you are to be branded an apostate and actually found out if, if the society is obviously big and influential. Um, so, to be honest, it's a bit shit. Uh, we can absorb life force, we can do the whole dark divorce, dark healing. Someone familiar might be useful, do a little bit- Oh, can we not even do it, because there's no magic in the world? Yeah, okay, so this whole society is literally pointless, because there's no magic in the world. Fuck it, then. I mean, on literally, we can do nothing but attempt to abduct people. We can- Okay, this society, cross all this out, forget all the dark magic shit, the only power we can do with it, now that I think about it, is- kidnapping people. That's it. That's all we can do. We can send either Master Keegan, a Henny, or Tahira over to go and kidnap someone, and then we can sacrifice them. We can basically murder people without losing anything for doing it. You know, we can't incur tyranny or something like that. So it actually might be worthwhile looking for some more people, maybe with some more gold, and try and sacrifice those. But other than that, the society's complete shit. I don't know why I didn't think that joining a dark magic society when there's no magic left in the world would be a bad idea, but it clearly is. Um... Yeah, so we definitely need to go for, like, the League or the Citadel or the Al I still think the Alchemist Guild is perfect for our character because it's all about making crazy wildfire and doing crazy experiments and, and learning rare powers and shit. That just seems so much more appropriate. We'll try and go for that one. Shit! Lock ye tea. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, Nar as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to call you He because I'm pretty sure we don't have a He. And you are going to be called Lee. And that is... A I know that's a name before you, before you even try and suggest any sort of undertones here. Perfect. There we go. And we've now had a fucking sun, which has ruined a whole order of succession. So now we are going to have to go for this, which obviously isn't such a big deal. We've only got to wait for another, like, a thousand more troops, and then we can actually siege this down. Then we have no vassals to worry about. Then all we've got to do is try and rule for ten years, which is going to happen, unless we get assassinated, at which point I think we've got bigger things to worry about because we've been assassinated. Should we try and have five children fall in love becoming exalted amongst men? Um, all vassals improve their opinion by five. That would literally just give us a thousand prestige by hitting four thousand prestige. By which point we've already got four thousand friggin' prestige. Oh man, none of these are good. Oh, that gives us plus one diplomacy for getting a lover. Okay, and I believe that event will, will give us an event-driven chance of getting a lover as well. Shit, I'm gonna have to raise my troops, try and stop these raiders, otherwise they're gonna steal all my treasures. Get out of here. <gasps> 
Not only do they not steal our treasures, but my god, we've gone up to 24 Marshall. And we lost Marshall. Um, I could have sworn we were better than that. I mean, 24 Marshall is obviously incredible, don't get me wrong, but I, I could have sworn we had higher Marshall than that. Doesn't really matter either way. That's, that's fantastic. Great to hear. And we also became... Did we just become unyielding? Also very good. I mean, it's not one of the best traits, but it's better than nothing, obviously. Good work. I have access to the slavery system, but the downside to that is it works really, really well if you're on the coast because you can actually launch slave raids, which allow you to bring back essentially a camp in the capital. Of course, you can sell and buy camps for 300 gold apiece. So a successful, and it's a caster's bellow as well. It's not like a raid or anything like that. You go to war, you win the war. It's basically 300 guaranteed gold. Now, we don't have access to that unless we move, find a way to move to the coast, which, of course, we're not going to be able to for a very, very long time because we're at least two or three provinces in either direction away from that. Um, so right now, what I'm doing is basically doing what we did yesterday and just going through this list here, seeing if anyone has any money. What the fuck are you talking about? 96,000 gold? And he'll come to our court. Sorry, that's not even 96,000. That's 900 and... That is 962,000 gold. Fuck me. Um, we, we've seen that with a couple of characters. So I don't know what the hell has caused it. Some sort of stack... <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. All right, why not? Let's go weird with it. Let's go... We've never done this before on CK2, so fuck it. Let's go balls to the wall weird. And get more money than we could ever spend in the entire campaign. Money isn't just going to win this campaign for us. But my god. Um, oh my god, I didn't mark his position. Do I just invite to court? What's his name? Sick? S uh, something like that. I remember I remember his face. Uh, show me show me his face. Uh, was it you? Uh, oh god. No, I think I invited him. Because he's not here anymore. Tick? It wasn't Tick. Turkin? Oh shit. The guy had like 5.9 million gold. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Uh, I've already invited him. Okay, cool. Bring him to court. Does he have any family members? If so, this could be a lot more risky. But if he's in our court and we, we kill him or banish him, we'll just get the 5.9 million gold. This is ridiculous. And we've seen this with a couple of other characters. We're not like the Lord of Karth. That's like, he's got like 7,000 gold. Even that looks pr pretty pathetic against the... Yeah, he's got 8,000 gold. This guy, uh, 7,000 gold. I don't know what the hell has caused it, but there is just a massive cash injection to all of these rams. Besides, apparently, Mir, which has become a Roina monastic? What the fuck is going on? Um, they've got 300 gold. What about the Iron Throne? I imagine they're quite rich. Okay, they've lost King's Landing. Um, no, they haven't got much money at all. Wow. Welcome, my friend. How have you done that? It's like random... Oh my god. I bet I know what it was. So rulers around the Jade Sea, and I bet the other guys are descended from a king as well. Hang on. He absolutely is. Okay, I know what's happened. So, if we look for kings around the Jade Sea, chances are you're going to see that they have a lot of gold. Because the Carthian people, when I replaced them with children of the forest or whatever, would have fled from Carth. This guy, oh, I thought he had 10,000 of them, but no, he actually has nothing. Um, there's got to be some other people with this. Come on, prove my point here. Don't, 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 don't let me down here, game. Okay, maybe not. What about the Empress? Maybe she has a bunch of gold. Nope. Well, it doesn't matter either way. What, what I was going to say is that chances are they've fled to other people's courts and they've all died in those courts and obviously they've inherited an absurd amount of gold. We're talking thousands and thousands of people. 5.9 million gold, though. So interesting where you got that. Oh, okay. Kuku to the wife, Peter of Ashai. Merchant Republic again. Was this guy a son of a Merchant Republic or something? Nope. But he hasn't also got that much gold either. Barely even breaking a million, the coward. Right, so this guy... We just stick him in our prison and then banish him, right? This is so dumb. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but this is really going to set the tone for the rest of the campaign. Um, let some time take. Let some time take. Here we go. Let some time take. That's it. All right. In prison. 85%. We've got an 85% chance at 6 million gold. Is there anything else we can do here? So okay. That's all we can do. Um, right, my friend. Let's have a chat. Let's have, let's have a chat in prison. Come on. Come on. We got him. Oh my god, we got him. And then we banish him? <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so fucking stupid. Boom. Yeah, I've actually never seen that before. I've actually never seen that before in CK2. Wow. Um, that's a whole lot of cash. That's a, that's a whole lot of cash. Um, even then, we're limited in the fact that we've only got one province to build up. What the fuck am I going to do with five million gold? Lots of trade authoritative, but honestly, who needs authoritative when you can pave your cities with gold? I invited this guy to court as well because I thought, honestly, honestly, why not? Why not? What, what's five million when you could have six million, huh? Boom. Welcome, Mao Zhong. And then you, my friend, are um, also goodbye. 
This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen in any game ever. I don't know. I'm I'm almost tempted to edit it out because I kind of feel like again, what the fuck are we gonna spend it on though? I don't I don't know what's caused this. It might be the trade league not playing nicely with it. it it's probably something to do with the, the the bug over in Karth, which apparently the bug fix. It, it's a problem with the base game Game of Thrones mod. I was reading on the forums. Apparently the, the there's a bug fix mod collection on there that will fix it, which probably explains why even though there are Karth characters returning to Karth, they're not getting the crazy amount of courtiers anymore. So now that I've installed that, it seems like it's fine. But this is a bug in base Game of Thrones, so you too could get yourself six million gold if you're in the same sort of position here. Wow, and we've incurred a lot, a lot of tyranny for doing that. Yeah, minus 95 vassal opinion, but again, who cares about vassal opinion when we can just get rid of all of our vassals? You know what we can do, though? We're going to say, hey, uh, I'm, I'm going to revoke your titles. No? Oh, we have a truce with him, of course, because we lost war. Um, it's been a while for that. We could just imprison him. Oh, he's in hiding. Right. Comes out of hiding, we can just imprison him. Oh, my God, we can actually upgrade the... We can upgrade the provinces. That's cool. They're normally incredibly expensive. I don't know. Are you guys all right with this? I feel like this is massive scum territory we've hit. I think we're also going to leave the cult of starting wisdom based on the fact that unless all we want to do is whip a tablecloth off and not knock anything over or pull a rabbit out the hat, this is a bit shit, isn't it? We can learn some card tricks. Great. Okay, let's get out of here. We can't join any other society, but that society was literally doing nothing for us but giving us negative traits. So maybe we'll go back to that. Maybe that could be one of the goals there is try and rebuild it and try and find a way to bring magic back into the world. I guess Uncorking the Labyrinth on Lang would probably do that, but we've already done that once before. So I don't know. I don't know if there is any other way to bring magic back besides just the dragons. It, you kind of wish there would be, right? If the White Walkers came back or, you know, even Uncorking the Labyrinth, I doubt actually does it. Maybe in Karth they find a way or I have no clue. I'll have to, I'll have to check through the files and see if there is another way to do that because I think that'd be kind of cool. In the meantime, just building ourselves up, aren't we? Building ourselves up, I'm, I'm probably going to edit this gold out uh, before tomorrow. And I'm going to go through the save game and just edit out all the gold in it. Because I think this could get a little bit shit. Bear in mind, we've got access to this. Sure, if there's another AI out there that has that as well, then we, we might have met our match. It's a little ridiculous. It's a little bit too much, but I'm kind of enjoying a, a little bit of uh, spending it while we've got it, huh? Definitely does seem to be a common thing that the characters that like a Shai, Yeetish, Carthine, all around the JT just have a ridiculous amount of gold. Like, I'm looking through these characters now, and again, there's another Shai woman, 3,000 gold. And then, of course, when these characters die, that money will go back to the leaders, will go to their family members, it will just keep accumulating over and over. That guy, 2.6 million gold. I mean, I'm not going to invite any more people, and I'm certainly not going to take their gold anymore because it's kind of ridiculous, but there's just so much. And they're all around the JT as well. It really was to do with that calf bug then. Unbelievable. I mean, just look at these guys. 50, he's got 51,000 men. He's no one. Who is this man? A random Maronese fellow with, with so much money. Oh, he's got a Dragonbone Axe. I might steal that from you, though. And I'm not going to take your gold, but I am going to take your fancy axe, my friend. Something money can't buy. Jesus. This is, um, obviously a truly cursed. But what's the point of the trade league anymore? Money is worthless. Millions may worship the god empress of Yeti and prostrate themselves before him whenever he appears. The Imperial Rick stands no further than the walls of the capital. Oh, another warlord has turned up then. The authority of Emperor is weak indeed. This is a cool event. I, I do like this system whereby randomly you'll get these, uh, uh it, it's kind of like adventurer threats, but just randomly turn up. It, it's kind of a cool little thing. Keeps you on your toes. Um, not that it would really threaten us again with the six million god. It's a bit cheap, isn't it? Right, hello. Oh, well, who are you? Uh, you are a new guy. How did you get Jin exactly? Inherited it from, uh, a relative, I would assume. God knows who. Let's revoke his stuff. And this guy we are not in a truce with, and he's certainly not going to say no. Damn it, I want it all, but of course we'd have to revoke it one at a time. Um, then we have a claim on it. Or, yeah, we'll, we'll try and revoke it. He'll say no. Then we stick him in prison and just revoke it all anyway, right? That'll do. Okay, that works fine for me. Thank you, my friend. Let's do it. My, you have a barren brute. May your years be short and miserable. I would not allow you to steal my titles without a fight. You are no longer my liege lord. A brave man. He has a garrison of 10,000. We have an army of 5,600. Oh, because it was including his troops as well, huh? Never mind. Um, our troops haven't really reinforced as fast as I was hoping. Oh, because we're upgrading the province, aren't we? It's a levy size. Knock on the head. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, if only we had money for additional helpers in this very difficult and very trying war. Um, oh, shit. There's actually not many, huh? Oh, God. This is way worse than I thought. Um, we're still, even with 6 million gold, only just able to hire enough troops to siege down his provinces. And to be honest, if we go into the offensive and attack that and get unlucky, he might even be able to kill... Oh, my daughter D. D-T-E. I didn't even have to rename her. Oh, she was playing. Fine. Doesn't matter. I want all the midwives and nurses questioned. Because we have the cruel trait. We're going to question everyone. 
You have the midwives, wet nurses, their family tortured to death under questioning. We gain 50 prestige. We lose 50 piety. And there's a 15% chance we become a fucking lunatic. And as far as I'm concerned, that would be the perfect thing for this man right now. Cherry on the mad cake. We didn't even get it. That sucks. Okay. Um, let's be careful. Let's be careful how we fight these armies then. Because if we can just keep about 10,000 men together, or we can just siege Zin and then not worry about our capital so much. Um, still a river crossing, isn't it? For fuck's sake, are you actually joking me? Bloody Empress marches troops through, kills all mine due to... If that cancels the siege, I'm going to be pissed off. Oh, you... I mean, it's going to. I mean, that's game. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. We lost the siege because our Empress decided to march through and the supply killed our men. You fucker. Reinforcing 129 soldiers per month, so if we wait that long enough, it will restart. That's... That's awful. That's a terrible gameplay mechanic, CK2. Um... Can I do any? Can I buy unsullied? Yeah, yeah. Buy, uh, for me when a batch is available, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take the lot. A establish a household guard. Now those guys, I think we can get them to. Um, they cost a little bit of money, but I mean, that's not really an object, is it? We can, we can have them drill our troops, and that I believe increases the reinforcement rate. There's nothing else we can do here to get men. I've just, just got to wait on these guys to reinforce and hope the bloody empress doesn't wander back through and eat all the food. Are you? Oh my, my God! This is um, this is this is shit. This is so shitty. Every time we get close to Siege in this place down, she just want... I hate it. I hate it. Um, I'm going to go stop this. I'm just going to stop this from happening. Because it doesn't matter. We've got to wait for our troops to bloody reinforce. Anyway, a boar will attack it right away. Please don't die. Please, for the love of God, do not die. I will I will scream. We're good. We fought as best as we could. We're fine. If we did die to a f damn pig, then I'd have been livid. Try my best. Okay, we didn't actually kill the pig, but the pig didn't kill us. So that's the important thing here. Oh, can we send in any more of our own personal levy? Nothing. Can we hire any more troops? Nothing. I think we may end up losing this regardless because we're currently at minus 94% war score. I'd move them on to this province because we are not going to have anything sieged. I don't think in time before the ticking war score would kill us because we've got no province to siege because the fucking emperor or empress or whoever did it kept wandering through our bloody territory and screwing us over. Let's make sure we've got siege leaders on both, on, on oh, everything. Fuck it. Everything. All siege leaders. That should hopefully speed things up a little bit. Um, military experts might say, oh, this is going to be close. Wow, this is going to be so close. Fuck off. Shit. My God, so many pop-ups. Let me finish the fucking war. Come on. Come on. Don't surrender until he asks us to surrender. This is going to be... I'm I'm so annoyed by this man. I don't care about you. Never talk to me. My prisoners need some anatomical restructuring. Absolutely. An intrigue-based activity. If you abandon that siege, I will abandon you all. Stop. Stop. Okay, 99%. Oh, my shit. This is going to be close. Come on. Minus 100%. Come on. <gasps> wow. Wow. Okay. That was a little bit... That was a little bit too close. That was that was a little bit too close. But we should be safe, in theory, for a while. Um, we still can't take his capital, by the way. Because, of course, we're going to have to sit there and pray that we don't take attrition in the meantime. Um, ah. Key will obviously get the 40 gold. Because I think we can spare it. Oh, my God. So the only options here are a good learning education or a mediocre intrigue education or everything else is shit. We'll go for the intrigue education, maybe just run through the citadel and, and flip her over into learning. But we'll still gain the intrigue points out of that, if that makes sense. So we'll we'll manually make a learning later on, I think. Ooh. Well, some resent you're almost despotic rule, really. You think we're somewhat of a despot with our minus 85 points of tyranny. The competent manner in which you rule designed a certain efficiency. Couldn't name anything less competent if I tried. Although, six million gold, huh? We got a bit of an economic boom. Can't call us Big Halberd anymore. No no Prince Meaty the Big Halberd anymore. Goodbye. Little Halberd now. The, the, the limp Halberd. Right. Burn this shit down. Burn this shit. I'm so annoyed. Carson and Pregmore, they're trying to siege our capital again. Where are you getting these men from? How have you got troops, but I don't? Get over here. Let's take those guys out. Then we head immediately straight back. Then the troops will hopefully just reinforce in... Because they're mercenaries, right? Yeah, okay. Can we hire any more? Fresh mercenaries? Oh, no, 300 troops. It might not seem like much, but it's better than nothing. Um, That's it. Then we can hire boats. Great. You know what? Send them all. We're we actually going to do it this time. We actually might just do it. As long as the Empress doesn't want to... I mean, even if she does now, I think we've got just enough of a safety net there. About 700 troops worth of a safety net so that this shouldn't be an issue. And that should be, hopefully... It's not even the end of the war. 13,000 men in a fucking city. Are you shitting me? Oh my god, can we even reinforce to that? We can, but it's going to take months. And I think the attrition is probably going to fuck us as well, isn't it? Uh, 15,000. This is ridiculous. How is this place so fortified?
We're also at war with this one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head up here and we're gonna we're gonna siege this one at the same time and sort of pray that that's enough. Hopefully we can assault this one down. I doubt it. Brothel owner. Hell yeah. Okay. 150 gold. I mean, we don't really need the wealth, do we? It's just basically pissing off our people even more. Fine. I'm actually almost tempted to assault this one down. Just get it out of the way. Oh, a new batch of Unsullied. Make an offer. I need a thousand. Plus, doing business. Oh my god, a thousand men. It's basically a retinue. That's so good. Assault that one down. Fuck it. There we go. 100% war. Thank you. Goodbye, vassals. What a pain in the ass that entire war was. I'm going to be taking everything from you, if you don't mind. Can't take his last castle. Um. Uh. Mm, don't know about that one, chief. Can I just, just kill him? Just kill him? Make a good meal? Ah! Master Cowboyan has been ritually slain. You proceed to gorge the remains. You have enough raw meat to last many days. A yeetish will be delicious. What a strange thing to say. A yeetish will be delish. That's what you could have said, but instead you just fucked it up. You had one You had one shot, Timmy the big halberd. You fucked it up. All right. Um, oh, we're vomiting now, weirdly enough. Can we not revoke Ertal as well? Because she's a shit. Give me that. So, oh, go on, say no, I dare you with 8,000. There we are, that's what I thought. Okay, that one's ours. That one's ours. This one, also ours, by the way. Go on, say no. You fucker. God damn it. Okay. She is now in prison as well. You are also going to be fucking devoured. Um, what have we got? What, what are my other options here? Has she got any artifacts or anything? Nope. Uh, I'm going to just also execute you. because Oh, let's revoke your title first. That's mine. You're also getting executed, by the way. Uh, then we are going to make a good meal out of you as well. A yeet dish will be delicious. Very weird thing to say about your own people. Very weird thing. I mean, he is technically... A shy in his face pack because of his mother, but his father was, uh, I mean, clearly yeetish there, which is it's still, still a strange thing to say about what is essentially your own people. Right, upgrade that hole then. We might as well spend the money on it, because I'm getting rid of it. I'm absolutely getting rid of it. And there we go, our daughter's ready. Is she any good? Oh, she's 15. Um, yeah, arrange the betrothal. Matrilineally married off to a guy with three bloodlines. Bang on. We're only going to inherit two of them, though. She's curious. She's actually not terrible. Patient, humble, deceitful, authoritative. These are all good traits so far. Chance at shrewd. Haughty is shit. A proud, arbitrary, cruel, or ruthless. Probably the best option out of that one. Timid is just shit. All of those are bad. A humble, obviously, being the best one. And zealous or erudite would be fantastic. I think she's going to do okay. B. T. E. Already incredible. And she's astute, which is a plus four to everything. Fine. You get duty, because that's just generic. And you've got an incredible name already. Okay. I am really, really want to see how this girl ends up. And then... We're going to leave it here because, my God, this has gone on for ages. I don't, I don't know how long this video is going to be by the time I've done editing it, but, my God, I feel like it's gone on for a lifetime. Great stats. Actually, like a good character. she got she got good stats there. Intricate web weaver. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, it, Fuck it. Disappointing, but understandable. I mean, we can't really chastise people for putting money in the pocket that isn't theirs. Former stall and magistrate will offer to shoot my ward. Um, Charles them. Oh, lose Indolent. Oh, that's fucking cool. Fine. She's ready. Key to ye, our daughter, married to Garth the Boar, Sir Garth the Boar, I should say. Credible character. Can't wait to play as her. Think she's going to be a good, a good follow-up to this. Otherwise, I mean, he did what had to be done. He did what had to be done. He embraced the side of the evil side of the Bloodstone Emperor. Maybe we could flip. Good character, evil character, good character, evil character. Keep the series a bit more dynamic in that regard. But the full North Grimhead is obviously working quite well. We've got nothing but mares all the way down now. And obviously every province upgrade and whatever else. I'm going to get rid of this gold, though, because that's a little bit ridiculous. That's a little more sensible. I think we basically got to build whatever the hell we wanted for an episode, which is a little bit janky. But, hey, there we go. Thank you all for watching. We're going to leave this one here for today because that was um, that was a lot. There was a lot to take in. So much happened then, and I'm not really even sure where to start. In the meantime, though, thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place for what it's worth. Thank you to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Gollius, Sinakirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Croesus, Donald, Facunda Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Natbuskers 911, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuus Packers, William Green, and Zazzy 7011 for their support the insane tier lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. Much appreciate to these guys. I would offer you some vassal names, but obviously that's a little bit weird this time. If you want me to land some houses across the world, see what they get up to. Maybe give them some stats to give them a boost there as well. Give them some cash. Really see if your guys can uh, can, can build themselves up a dynasty maybe in the background. We'll check on them every few episodes. That could be kind of fun to do for this campaign. Bring that back that we did with... Um, what campaign was it we did that with? Oh, it was the Angels, wasn't it? With with Brandamina and... Um, 
and Archangel of the Baguette. Yeah, we should, we should bring that back again, so I think that'd be kind of cool. If you guys are interested, let me know, of course. And the same goes out to the following patrons as well, including Uwu, Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Betamus Max, Better Learn, Black Double H, Sedini, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Dr. Honey Tumor 7, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Dumar, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida C, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, James Shea, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yuan de Vries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mastolp, Monty, Mostly Samson, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Limburg, Nordstrom, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pantomi, Pant Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Kears, Shari, Smurt One, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, The Insane Pickle, The One Ring, Valonkiri, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Will Wade, Wilson and Teff. Wolfie, Yorkus, Zach, and Zico to see you all tomorrow for more of this just absolute insanity.